Hi lads, it's Danny here today, bring you like, a lovely video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at how to solve the integral of arc sine of x dx. So, before we jump into it, I want you like, to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get right into it then. So, the way we have to solve this is we're going to use the, a special technique from integral calculus known as the integration by pulse. And the way we got to do this is we got to basically determine our u and dv variable. We got to select it. And we are going to then create a chart as shown on your screen. Sorry, not a chart, a table where you got your u variable and dv variable, which you'll have to select. And then we are going to take the du and v equivalent. And the way I like to do this is I like to use this chart, which helps me identify if we're dealing with a u variable or a dv variable. So let's look at the integral once more. We have the integral of arc sine of x. I like to think of it as 1 multiplied by arc sine of x. So we got a 1 as the polynomial, and then we got arc sine, which is the inverse trig. So if you're looking at this chart right in front of you, inverse trig is going to be most definitely your u variable. And your polynomial, since it's found lower down the list, it's going to go to your d, it's going to be your dv variable. So according to this chart, I'm going to select arc sine of x to be our u variable, and our dv variable is just going to be 1 dx, right? So on the left-hand side, we're just going to take a derivative. So the derivative of arc sine of x is given by 1 divided by square root 1 minus x squared dx. And the integral of dv dv 1 dx is just going to be v is equal to x so once we have completed the table we are then going to replace these variables inside the integration by Paul's formula very important so let's rewrite it as shown in your screen we have rewritten it and now we got to solve this integral and the way we got to do it is we're going to basically apply a u substitution technique so i'm going to do a nice little blue box and we're going to work in this little blue box to solve for this integral right so we are going to say that we're going to say we're going to do we're doing a u substitution but i'm using a different variable because we used u already so i'm going to use w just to make it different we're going to say that the u variable or the u sub variable w is equal to one minus x squared Right, so therefore the dw it will be is equal to negative 2x dx once you take a derivative of this. And we are basically going to write it in terms of dx as shown on your screen. We are then going to take this dx term and replace it inside this integral. And we can rewrite the integral as follows on your screen. We can then isolate and simplify. So notice there's an x in the numerator and in the denominator. We're going to cancel that out and we're going to basically move that scalar quantity negative one divided by two outside the integral and what's left over here is to basically solve this integral using the power root technique once you have applied the power root technique from integral calculus we are being left with this the twos are going to cancel out basically and what you are really going to be left with once you substitute the w term back inside the equation is one sorry negative Square root 1 minus x squared plus c. We are then going to take this and put it inside this main equation over here. And notice we've got a negative. Don't forget this negative from the integration by Paul's formula. We're going to distribute it in. And we're going to rewrite the integral, the, the answer to the integral, which is this, basically. So that's how you solve the integral of arc sine of x dx. So if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.